and the Muslims are, you know, like watching a ping pong match. They're just going doing this, doing that, doing, and they don't know what's cooking. The only one who's having fun is Shaytani. Excellent, excellent. Very good. Yeah, keep up the good work. Is this what Islam about? Is all of your years of studying and working hard <coughs> ended up in making da'wah to undermine other people's work? Who cares? Who cares about you or about them? Teach me something that's good for my religion. Teach me something that gets me closer to Allah. Unfortunately, even among the good people, you may find someone who's been acting weird lately. Nowadays, I hear, Alhamdulillah, I don't waste my time watching this trend among some of the da'is. But I hear people coming to me and saying, Da'i so-and-so, he does very good work, he fights uh, uh, liberals, he fights uh, uh, deviant sects, he fights uh, Christians, blah, 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 and feminists. And the other Da'i is talking about Aqeedah, and he defends this, and he defends that. And the third one is doing this, mashallah, good work. As the old ad says, big pot of bread. Oh, big, big pot of bread. Big pot of bread, but where's the beef? What are these da'is calling for? Every week or every month, there is a podcast. This da'i did this and he did that. He's an innovator. He's deviant. He's a hypocrite. He's a liar. And they start fighting one another. And a rebuttal. And a debate. And everyone throws stones at the other one. And the Muslims are, you know, like watching a ping pong match. They're just going doing this, doing that. Doing, and they don't know what's cooking. The only one who's having fun is Shaitanis. Excellent, excellent. Very good. Yeah, keep up the good work. Is this what Islam about? Is all of your years of studying and working hard <clears throat> ended up in making da'wah to undermine other people's work? Who cares? Who cares about you or about them? Teach me something that's good for my religion. Teach me something that gets me closer to Allah. So this is one part of the extremists. Those who are like flies, only falling on dirt, only falling on crap, and feeding on it. May Allah protect us. The other extreme are those who have diluted religion. So, yeah, welcome on board. Everything goes. Let's go. Where? Anywhere you want. What is Islam? Anything you can believe in. So these guys, they say, yep, there's no problem in collaborating and cooperating with the Khawarij, with the liberals, with the Mu'tazila, with the Shia, with the super Sufis, with the grave worshippers, with even atheists. As long as we can benefit from them, politicians who've committed real kufr, but they say they're Muslims. Get them on board. Well, what is this? This is not part of Islam. Definitely. These are the two extremes. Okay, who's the middle path? The middle path are those blessed by Allah Azza wa Jal to follow the footsteps of the Prophet Neither one of the two sects, by the way, could ever claim that I follow the Prophet Alaihi methodology. I follow the Prophet Sallallahu man hajj. I think one of my tooth is cracking. No, it's not. Alhamdulillah. Well, who cares? Taiwanese spare parts. Alhamdulillah. So, the thing is, <clears throat> the way of the Prophet is what joins us, is what unites us. So, if someone were to go against the way of the Prophet we don't jump the gun. We don't shoot and then ask questions. No. We analyze if his mistake was probable, ex 
acceptable due to misunderstanding, some sort of ambiguity that made him do something, thinking that it was, was the right thing, we accept him, but we correct him at the same time. And we do this, that is accepting him and correcting him with a heart filled with compassion and love. But if that particular individual went against the Prophet ﷺ, simply because he's a deviant innovator, he's keen on spreading evil and vice that supports his falsehood and his da'wah, in this case, no. We have to make a stance. We have to show him his mistake while still being feeling sorry for him. Not that we, ah, another one bites the dust. We just want to smack him in the face and, you know, keep on kicking him while he's on the ground until he dies. No, no, no. Despite his sins and innovation, our Islamic stance is to do inkar, to, to rectify his mistakes and correct his flaws and shortcomings while still feeling sorry for him. This is why the enemies of Allah Azza wa Jal have failed to conquer the Muslim Ummah. Physically, on the military front, they could never beat us. But they found out a, an easier and a cheaper way to try to divide us. Because this is, that would be the main source and cause of our defeat. Divide and conquer. Therefore, there is no victory for the Muslims. There is no pride and honor for the Muslims unless they reunite and unless they show their solidarity and get back to abide by the Sunnah and before that by the Quran and to abide by loving goodness for others, wanting good for them, not to prevail not to score a point against you, not to gain as many followers by these podcasts, wanting to be famous, wanting to be well-known. This is not the way of unity. Therefore, <clears throat> whenever we disagree over something, whenever we <clears throat> dispute and have a difference of opinion, we must not have discord or disunity or division we must always remember we are one ummah we are one nation under the flag of the prophet and we have to be knowledgeable when we advise people we have to be perseverant and wise and we have to look for the best of the two choices the pros and cons and take the pros and what overweighs and always 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 be careful not to reserve a chunk for your own self because a lot of us fail in doing this a lot of us whatever we do Whatever we say, where is the credit? What is it for me? What did you, where is my name? In the beginning or at the end? Okay, what is this? No, Akhi, do what you do for the sake of Allah. It doesn't matter if you're at the beginning, or uh, first row, or at the end, as the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ indicated. And our reference in the beginning and at the end is always the book of Allah and the hadith of the Prophet Allah says, and if you differ in anything amongst yourselves, refer it to Allah and his messenger. If you believe in Allah 
and in the last day. Our unity is not based on the Arabs supporting the Arabs, the Pakistanis supporting the Pakistani, even if he's wrong, even if he's deviant, if he's calling for bad things, we're backing him up. The uh, uh, Moroccans, the Egyptians, the Indians, the Americans, the reverts, each supporting his folks. This is not Islam. Um, this is the division that we were warned not to be involved in. Hada wallahu a'lam wa nisbatul ilmi ilayhi aslam wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barak ala nabiyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Barakallahu feek, Sheikh Fathallah alayk.